Let's move on to digital divide. Digital divide expressed in terms of have or have not. In e-learning, we want to look into how you're accessing the e-learning materials. If you have a slow internet connection and you cannot download the movie file. So if you have a T1 line, you can download faster. If you have a dial-up, you're going to download slower. So this divides also is very digital. So we have to ask this question, is the digital divide issues considered in the designing the learning materials? When you're designing the learning materials, we should really think about our learners and how they are accessing our materials. Next, let's move on to etiquette. Does the course provide any guidance to learners on how to behave and post messages in online discussion so that their postings do not hurt others' feelings? We need to train our learners, train our students how to behave online. And the, finally, the most important ethical issues is the legal issues. One of the questions we would ask, does the course get its students' permission to post any of the following on the web? That includes a student's photographs, a student's projects. You have to be very ethical. If you have, in different cultures, they don't want their children's pictures post on the web. So we, as e-learning instructors, e-learning designer, we have to make sure that we get proper permissions to post anybody's pictures, anybody's project, even we need to make sure that copyrighted materials are legally and ethically their viable way of using it. So today I have described ethical uh, dimensions of the learning uh, environment from the social issues, political issues, cultural diversity issues, biasness, geographical diversity, learner diversity, digital divide, ethical, uh, etiquettes, and legal issues. So this concludes the ethical uh, aspects of e-learning. For more information about ethical issues in e-learning, please visit macwidden.com. And thank you so much for listening and for your time.